Hi, it's Joy, and today I'm going to be watching Alphas Season 1, Episode 9, Blind Spot. I'm very excited to jump back into another episode of this show. Thank you so, so much, Jesse, for sponsoring. Let's go. We got bulletproof uh, polarized glass. We got industrial This is a very unwelcoming place. So I suppose if it's a definite criminal. This part is we're no longer just your patient. We're your government asset. What's the expression? They don't exactly have a choice, do they? I'm here, right? I'm good with it. You're good with it. He still lost his ability. I like the old Bill Connor. You take things seriously and your veins would pop out when things weren't right. And this is <laughs> right. Yeah, why are you still here then? You're not even an alpha anymore. <laughs> Sorry about this. Well, were you able to confirm Oh Lord. Lord. Why have you some MRIs first, then we can put him in the holding cell. Yeah, let's move fast before the... you This is very extreme. What has this guy done? Ooh, is there an invisible alpha with them? Because right now, these guys look like the bad guy. They've just adopted someone. They've got their foolproof room. There is an invisible alpha. See, right now, I know they suspect that this guy is linked to Red Flag. So obviously, they must have some reason to believe he's very dangerous. And I get that with alphas, if they were to go off the rail, if they were to attack you or be violent, then you need to be able to suppress them. But they do seem to be very extreme. I understand your concerns. Like, who is it? It's we part of you. We all have our issues. But it's Bill's choice we at the end of the day. Yeah, is he not an alpha, but it's the invisible person that's the alpha? Paperwork already? Oh, he became violent. Motivated. Rosen thinks that that's a bad idea. Maybe you told him? Please, our shrink. And your boss. It's very weird. Um, he thinks that I'd be bad for you, and Cam, I've screwed up every relationship I've ever had. The first time for everything. Oh lord. No visual data would ever reach his brain. Which is why I couldn't push him. Couldn't see me. Look, when things got ugly, that guy dodged around his desk and he ran straight for the door. There is no way he's blind. Well, unless he's an In her report, she wrote subject became violent. And you're saying he went ooh, 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 and ran. Alpha, I'm still waiting on proof this guy's dangerous. <laughs> How does his ability function? Surely by now, when, if, like, I guess she we she doesn't use her super senses all of the time, but she would both hear another person or see another person. Oh, or smell another person, sorry. Or does she have some kind of bizarre... The invisible person can also be invisible from alphas. Yeah, thank you. If these people are linked to Red Flag, Red Flag does now know where their new office is too. Hello? Rachel, if there's someone sneaking around, they're not going to reply. Rachel, tell someone. Tell someone what you're sensing, Rachel. Ooh, that's not just being visible. This guy seems odd, but... Have we really, like, got proof? I mean, he that was quite a sinister thing, and obviously an invisible person running around, but I don't like the methods that we're now using. Can the invisible person turn themselves back? Did they take his gun? We're adults. We get to make our own mistakes, so please just let it go. Mm -hmm. But as your psychiatrist and your employer, I don't think I can do that. And I don't think you're in a place to make that decision. Am I interrupting? I also don't think somebody's psychiatrist should also be able to be their employer. I know this is a special case. DNA. Active human DNA inside the vitamins. Active human DNA. Is this the... Developing fetus. I smell blood. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Is that to do with... Did the person, like, steal a nose hair or something? Or is it like the glass was breaking and they caused Dina's nose to... 
So is that the DNA, the like, baby stuff to stop alphas or to try and force alphas? That wasn't sinister at all. Where you have mitral. I may be an alpha, but I'm a doctor first. I hope you keep that in mind. No harm. Just the way he's talking I'm is really sinister. Human you and your friends tried to assassinate me. Fringe elements, radicals. But like, you have no proof he's linked to anything no, other than the pills. Joining a terrorist organization that hurts people is going to do the opposite. Rachel, tell someone what you're sensing. You know your own abilities. You know your own strengths and powers. You know that you're not not picking up uh, error readings or something. Rachel. This is why we need training. They don't need like gun training. They need like tactical training or just, you know, being aware of your surroundings training. Oh God. Well, they came visible to do that. Okay, no one's seen her for a half hour. Yeah, why don't you scream for her? Yeah, I did. Okay, she's gone. Rachel? I need to take each other seriously. Okay. I found her 20 minutes ago. Okay. The lift, and then nothing. Yeah, stay here. Did they take all the bullets out of his gun? Rachel! Well, she couldn't have just evaporated. I mean, what the hell? Rachel, they can the make other people invisible, so like Rachel's right here somewhere. There are cracks everywhere. The number of heartbeats on this floor hasn't changed since I woke. How many are you hearing? You really have to play this ridiculous game. Does he not know about the invisible person? We haven't been properly he's not with the invisible person oh my god has he been viewed as a liability is he scared of this person oh my god holy shit ignore me what is going on? Because they came together. I thought they were together. But he's terrified of this person. Oh, Rachel. We should at least consider what, uh, what Kern is saying. Are you work together? Maybe he acted scared. Really, he just wants to be let out of there so he can be freed. Yeah. The camera across the street looks into this building every 15 minutes. And that's why I won't go to the bathroom in three minutes after. Or Wait, who's the... Hicks, behind you! Where'd she go? I can't see her! Oh god! Okay, we'll put on that right away. There's a lot of red bait! Oh lord! She's activating the blast door! Take him to the left. Oh, so they can't get him out of here to the hospital! Fuck! This is not good. Don't worry about that now. Maybe Gary can override the lock system. We need sonar, man! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Can she push away his pain in a consensual way? <laughs> this is not the time for the conversation or the kissing. Bitch got my gun. That sounded like shots. That sounded like my gun. The so is she trying to kill Sonar Man? The person who just tried to shoot me or free you. Uh huh. You say day, you say night. We don't have a choice but to trust him. You two I respect. Even though you're wrong, at least you're loyal to a cause greater than yourself. So you're saying that she's just a mercenary doing anything for for money. Lovely. You have more time to uh, make your own decision with that. Is this going to go wrong? This used to make me cranky. So it's ability that made him unlikable. <laughs> How long did it take? Back. Sweating, it wouldn't be a very good lockdown blaster if an alpha could open it. Oof. He is definitely! Good idea. Oh god. Oh my god, Gary. 
Is she alone with Gary? Oh my god. Gary is not someone you need to use physical force against. He's so brave. Yes, Rachel! Good. Good, Rachel, I love her. I thought it looked like her. Unsanctioned variable. Hmm. I prefer Ronin. Sounds <laughs> cooler. Okay. Have you seen your walls lately? What are you talking about? The cracks? Yeah, you know some cracks on the memes. Oh, is that his Sonic ness? He's trying to break out of here. He's been trying since the minute he woke up. Woo. Vibrations of Take time to build. Yeah, I don't trust her. For all we know, she's working with Kurt. I did wonder how the cracks could be linked to invisibleness. See, I don't like it when people get close to me. Let's just call the truce. You let me take him out of here. I get my fee. You get to live. They're not gonna do that. Or if they do, they're gonna do it because they wanna follow you. It's okay, it's not like I'm dying or anything. But you don't want Doc here thinking you actually care about me. Very funny. Oh my goodness. I can hear the rumbles. It's getting worse. Sedate him. If nothing else. I think you need to take a look at him. All I wanted was to bring more out. He definitely was very sinister. Why is that wrong? It will happen naturally. Because like no. no, drugging women and like right. altering babies' DNA is a criminal act. Well the cell is not working well. Holy shit. I do, oh my God. I do have to say, I don't think our alpha proof cell has passed its first test. <sighs> oh God. It's time for Bill to get angry. Goodness me, their office is gonna need to be, you know, refurbished. I'm not stressed. Here we go. Finally, he wanted it enough. Deep down. Oh fuck, she's gonna kill him. Which admittedly saved everybody else, but um. We could probably use that. Just casually murdered someone on office shots. Then maybe she'll open the blast door because you know. Work was so dangerous, huh? It's not gonna work. You know, you were a lot less annoying when you didn't have your ability. <laughs> now that you've got your ability back, you're annoying again. <laughs> you're Bill again. You're the old Bill. Rachel would smell blood. Get She'd get up. You like me? <laughs> They're like children. I saw how you were. I like oh, like you. Do you like like me? I don't care what Clay says. This was a bad idea. Mm-hmm. Yes, we do seem to be learning by trial and error. Things aren't going to get easier, are they? No, I'm afraid not. We're reaching the end of season one. I don't know why. That felt like a really abrupt ending, even though it was quite clearly like the end of the episode. That was such a good episode. I, I love kind of episodes where teams get trapped inside and they have to like protect each other and they don't know what's going on. It's always like a really sort of... It's a fun episode and I just, in general, any time when a team member is missing or hurt and then the rest of the team is like frantically trying to find them and you get to see how much they care about them, I love. So this was a very good episode. I still think there is a real, like, I like Dr. Rose as a character. I know I often, you know, I hold him to a very high standard because I think the, the position he's in and the responsibility he, he has and the power he has over these people, I do think he needs to be more aware of the, like I've said many times, of the wider consequences and the wider circumstances and it is kind of weird that he's both their boss and their psychiatrist especially as it becomes a very it's a very like he orders them around and yet he's their psychiatrist that is a very weird dynamic that you wouldn't really get anywhere else it, it works to an extent here and i understand why it has to be that way but it is a bit like why it can like really um 
the two alphas very good you know at the beginning i assumed they were working together um and then in the middle i was like oh it's a baddie invisible alpha and he's just you know a crazy scientist man and then he turned out to be like sonic the sonic boom himself um so that was all a lot, a lot of really good twists which sometimes these kind of episodes you can kind of be like oh that, that's really obvious that there's just an invisible person oh and then they twisted you and twisted you so i really really did like that i don't blame cameron for being annoyed at dr rosen for being for messing with their love lives it is up to them and they are both adults and you know at the end of the day if they break each other's hearts that's what happens in life i'm afraid but i hope they get to be happy personally i loved rachel being able to free herself from that event um and being able to go down there stop griffin save gary you know it ended up being the two teammate two team the two team members that the rest of the team views as being the most vulnerable that were the ones that had to deal with it i mean i know gary did not really do much but he you know she had that knife on him for a while before rachel showed up and he he managed to to i don't know keep her at bay for long enough and he came up with the ideas like the camera across the street and and what i love about this show is that they haven't tried to make it be like oh gary's better now because there's nothing wrong with being autistic or, or on the spectrum um but they're really showing that it doesn't change how capable he is it doesn't change that he has brilliant ideas and he's brave and he's part of this team and he cares about them and i really really am enjoying the way they're portraying that I'm enjoying Rachel's growth as well um and yeah the fact that I mean I feel like we're gonna see Griffin again the actress's name has escaped my brain but she pops up a lot um I imagine we'll see her again she's quite a the sort of actress these shows like and also the sort of character that you're gonna want to see popping up again I mean maybe we won't because they would have hoped that maybe season three or four she'd have popped up I don't know um but the way she just killed him and then no remorse I mean in a way yes that kind of saved everybody but maybe knocking him out which i know i'm a big advocate for raising awareness for the fact that one punch can kill somebody and then if you knock somebody unconscious that's probably going to cause some serious damage but within the show i feel like if you're gonna stab him in the neck you could also try and whack him over the head with something but she did also save all of their lives and for her more importantly she both saved her own life and got rid of somebody that could easily see her when she was doing her sneaky sneaky times and i love the way this show rationalizes all the abilities with science because i don't mind generally speaking i don't mind in other shows when it's just like that person can fly and that person can be invisible but i love how there's always a sort of pseudoscience explanation behind every single ability including her blind spot invisibility ability their office is wrecked and i at the beginning of the episode it really didn't sit right with me that we were bringing that guy in chained up the way we were and it really didn't sit right with me that we had this weird prisoner like no rights room and i get that red flag is a terrorist organization but the whole like you don't get a lawyer and everything like that doesn't sit right with me so i'm glad that our team was not really pro it and that the room was immediately proved ineffectual and hopefully they won't keep one it is a hard line when you have people like alphas who are so powerful but i just feel like you need to have extremely powerful tranquilizers on hand at all times ready to use and not ones that you have to put on a cloth like ones that you could shoot a dart with or do something from a distance um to try and stop people without killing them but yeah this was a fantastic episode thank you so so much jesse for sponsoring thank you for watching